This week on the New Leadership Normal, Leadership Coalitions. The lone wolf is capable, but limited. Only with the pack is the wolf truly at its peak. Typical of any leadership team, there are many styles among the people sitting around the table. And of course, each person has specific goals that they're working on. The CEO has a very specific concern about two of the people on his team, the VP of Sales and the VP of Marketing, always seem to be at odds. Their philosophies are very different. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but these two have elevated their philosophy differences into a very competitive and sometimes punitive battle. The VP of Sales isn't seeing the sales growth he would like and wants the VP of Marketing to provide some fresh leads going deeper into their target niches. The VP of Marketing has voiced loudly that she thinks the salespeople aren't professional enough and doesn't want to waste innovation on a substandard sales team. Every interaction between these executives is testy. People who work in each department have chosen sides and take every opportunity to justify their home team loyalty by bashing the other side. It's a clash from top to bottom. A coalition is a strategic combination of skills. Building coalitions across an organization is key to success. It's difficult at best. Building coalitions employs all of our diplomacy skills. Dan, our VP of IT, has unfortunately been stuck in the middle as his teams work to implement a new customer relationship management system. These change implementations are always difficult because so many tweaks to business processes are necessary for success. Anytime Dan tried to bridge the gap between the two competitors, he felt like he took a few bullets in the crossfire. Competitiveness within a leadership team can be motivational. At some point, though, it's counterproductive. The company overall needs to win out. Dan's team learned quite a few things about the business during the CRM implementation. The industrial division has some new product ideas in the pipeline. These new product ideas will involve some retooling in the plants and some tweaking of the manufacturing module of the ERP system. Dan started by exploring the technology impacts and what his teams would need to do. As he explored, he quickly realized that this was potentially more strategic than a few system adjustments. The project could potentially be a great case study for working with other divisions. Maybe if Dan could model ways to collaborate across the leadership team table, he could make a difference. Dan is starting to think in 60-40 mode. Hints about the best combinations of resources are everywhere. Are you listening? What Dan did was get the VP of sales together with the head of industrial working on a plan for selling those new products. The head of industrial has a good relationship with the VP of marketing, so started the work on the marketing side of things until it was a natural time to bring the VP of sales and the VP of marketing together. Dan worked with the VP of manufacturing to get the wheels turning on the changes that were needed. The team worked together across boundaries to develop a new product and bring it to market. And by doing this, they figured out how to work together and put this experience on the table as a model for working together for the benefit of the company. They served their departments, but clearly moved from 90-10 towards 60-40. Who benefits? Everyone. Sometimes coalitions are complex, involving multiple parties. It takes strategy and knowing the motivations and goals of each party. Coalition building takes creativity. You can be a lone wolf, but for true leadership, you must build effective coalitions. Where can you partner with others on your leadership team to make something happen? Thanks for joining me. If you missed us last week, click the video to your right for The Gold is in the Valleys. Will I see you Saturday morning? Each Saturday, our special email conversation focuses on you as a leader with a message you won't see anywhere else. Click the link on the top right of your screen or visit jimcandarucci.com. Please join us for more next week on the new Leadership Normal.